Hello, my beautiful viewers. Today we want to see a process of building a bungalow madhouse. A house is a house, and each one of every one of us has a dream of building a house. Whenever a fundi wants to build a house, they will start by setting the house. Already this house is set. You can see the pegs around the place. And this is the setting of this house. Culture will always dictate a few things in Western Kenya. Like in this process, a man has to leave his father's compound to go and build his own home. This is what is happening today. This is the fundi going to build this house together with his team. He is explaining to me how the house is going to be. This is the veranda. Then there's going to be the front door and you get to the sitting room. Then there's going to be a window somewhere there. On this other side, there is a bedroom. That's the master bedroom. Then there's going to be a door somewhere here. Then that's a corridor. Then on this side, that's the kitchen. You can see the circumference of the kitchen. It is still down and sometimes you can't understand. Then there is the back door on the kitchen side. Then that is the bathroom. Then another bedroom. This is a two-bedroomed house, a sitting room, a kitchen, and a bathroom. As I told you before, culture will always dictate a few things in Western Kenya. Like in this case, the fundies are telling the owner of the house to start illustrating, digging a hole before they do it. After he has done so, that is when the fundi will start working. Each and everything or each and every step, he will be told he is the first one to start doing it. At this moment, he has done it and the fundis are now digging the holes. They are going to start with the four corners of the house. You can see the pegs and those pegs, each and every place a peg is placed, they will dig a hole. This is one of the holes which is being dug on the corners. When they completed digging the holes, the owner was called again. This time he was told to place a pole inside the hole and then the fundis will do the others. I didn't really understand the meaning, so I asked him, why are you doing this? And this is what he told me. The owner of the house has completed placing the first pole. Now the fundis can continue working. The poles are normally like the pillars of the house because they are the ones going to hold the roof. You can see those pegs. Each and every place there is a peg, they will dig a hole. We can now see the process. The outer side is already done. They are now digging the inner side of the house. As usual, antitermites will always be poured. In this case, they are pouring the antitermite on the poles where the poles are placed. At the moment, they've started placing the rails. The rails act like the linton when you are doing a permanent house. These rails are the ones going to hold the roof. This is how it looks like. Meanwhile, the other fundies are still working on the inside placing the poles. They've now completed doing the outer rail of the house and you can see the shape is now coming out. This is how the rail looks like on top. Now, these are bamboo reeds. Bamboo reeds are also going to be used. This is what is happening now with the bamboo reeds. 
they've started placing the bamboo reeds on the side of the house. They will do it round, out and inside. And we want to see how the work is going on. This is one side of the house. It's the western wing of the house. And they're completing placing the bamboo reeds. Whenever a man goes to build his own home, it's always like a celebration. And the ladies are there cooking food. That's chicken being cooked. And the chicken must be there. So people are going to have lunch around. Everybody who came around, plus the fundies, are going to have lunch today. Mm-hmm. I'm salivating for the chicken. Okay, let's get back to the construction site. This is the next day. On the second day, the fundies were up on the roof. They've started placing the timber for the roofing. They also didn't finish partitioning the house in the inside. So there are other fundies doing the partitioning of the house in the inside with the bamboo reeds. Let me get nearer so that we can see how the bamboo reeds were done. You can see they are parallel to each other. This one on the inside and then this other side on the outside. So what's going to happen, they will be placing the mud between the two. We can now see the roof is coming out and they've already started placing the iron sheet. The iron sheet is plain galvanized mabati. The roof is going to take around 40 iron sheet. And we can see the shape of the roof is coming out. We are now on the third day. And as usual, the owner has to start placing the mud. Today they are going to place the mud between the bamboo reeds. So he was told he's the first one to do it. He is doing it so well. After he has done it, the others will come in and continue doing the same thing that he is doing. This is the mud which is dug inside the house. This is the sitting room area, and then on the other side are other rooms. Long time ago, this work was being done by women, and the men will only make the duff. But today, you have to pay for people who are coming to do it for you. This is the first stage of placing the mud, and the mud is going to act like the wall. Things have changed so much. And technology of building is also changing. Even building mud houses, technology is changing. Like these bamboo reeds used not to be there. They used to use something called fito here in the village. And then it will be tied by ropes. Things are changing. And this is the changes which are there, especially building the mud house. Normally prepare yourself for miscellaneous like water. They had to use donkeys to bring in water. How is the wall coming up? It's quite nice. There is a group of other fundies of, or young people who are working in the inside. Is now the house. The mud is completed and the roof is also completed. Not everything is completed. 
they are going to wait for this mud to dry. I want us just to get in. It's muddy. I don't know whether I'm going to manage. Let me see how we can get this ladder out. This is the entrance. That's how the roof looks like. I'm just outside. This is the veranda. And then this is how the side of the house looks like on front. Okay, I'm now inside. I've managed to get inside. This is the sitting room. It's a bit muddy. I can't walk inside here. But this is how the inside of the house looks like. The roof. That's getting to the kitchen side, the bathroom. That's the kitchen side. Then back to the sitting room. We will see this later on. This is the floor. It's not completed. The fundies are going to have a break. So they will wait for this mud to dry. After the mud is dry, they will come back again to add some more so that they can seal uh, the bamboo reeds and everything that you are seeing around. And now I want to get to the back and we see how the back side looks like. This is the back side of the house. There is a door on the kitchen side. So I'll continue following this house so that we can see what is going to happen. The weather is quite cold and it's raining. So we don't know when this is going to dry. When it's dry is when we will come back to continue working. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. Kindly consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to give me that thumbs up and let us meet on my next video.